Have you heard about Uptown in Gig Harbor and all the things that it has to offer here? Well, if you wanna learn more, let's do a little walkabout and watch this video. Hey everybody, my name is Darren Rivers. I am the Northwest Realtor and welcome to Living in Gig Harbor, Washington. Hey, I am in Uptown Gig Harbor. This is an outdoor shopping area and we're gonna do a little walkabout today. And I'm just kind of show you some of the shops and the movie theater and some restaurants and things like that, uh, all within walking distance here. So we're just gonna talk and walk around and check it out. Um, hey, all my information is right there. So uh, if you have any questions about this video, anything that uh, you want to know more about Gig Harbor, feel free to give me a text, send me an email, put a little comment in the comment section of this video, and I'll get back to you right away. So let's get started with walking around Uptown Gig Harbor. So this is literally an outdoor mall here. and It's just really nice. This is a beautiful spring day. I can't believe it's spring because it's so warm, but you can see behind me there's shops here, um, just all sorts of different retail, clothing, trinkets, things like that. Um, it's actually a really cool spot and uh, who got to watch out for the steps there because I'm looking into the camera and you never know what's going to happen. So just give you an idea of what we got here. There's a hair salon and day spa. Oh, what is this place? Organic waxing and lash studio. I'm not going to go into that very much more. You can uh, figure out what they do there for themselves. We got an urgent care even right here and uh, just walking down. nine round i'm not even sure what this is oh it looks like a some sort of a workout place check this out advertising for them right now first free workout trainer included the whole nine yards there you go so there's even a gym here and then right up here at the end it's actually one of my more favorite restaurants in gig harbor it's called the greenhouse and uh it's got really good food they got outdoor seating there Obviously when the weather's nice and a cool bar and everything inside and nice indoor seating for when it's not so nice outside. But uh, Greenhouse right there, it's a really good spot, great food. Just so you guys know, it's always a little awkward when you're carrying a camera around and walking around and you're just kind of talking to yourself like this because you know, there's people around that are looking at you kind of strange and they give you little smickers, but you know, whatever it is what it is. So um, I'm just a little one section over from where we were before there's, you know, this is Washington, right? There's coffee shops everywhere. So there's a Cutter's Point right there. On this side, I'm trying to keep me in the camera too, so you remember who I am, but there's a sleep number place if you need to buy a mattress. Um, what is this place? The Loft, I think that's a, a retail clothing store. And I'm actually gonna turn the camera around entirely and turn me around, because across that parking lot right there, that is the Galaxy, that's the movie theater there. And they got, you know, the seats that recline, they even got uh, places where they have servers and they'll bring you beverages, alcoholic beverages even. So um, it's a new state of the art theater, of course. And this place has got it all. So just kind of in the middle of the parking lot, again, looking at the big uh, storefront of the movie theater. But there's, you know, there's a bank, there's a place to get your hair cut, there's a yoga studio, there's another spa. Home Goods is over there. I mean, really, this is one stop shopping. Um, I'll get over there a little bit later, but if you look kind of way up there, up that little drive, there's Safeway up there and a whole bunch of other stores as well. And then of course, on a sunny day like this, you want some Ben and Jerry's, you want some ice cream? We got that too. Oh, are you a pizza fan? Check it out. Pizzeria right there, the Fondi. We've got some great stuff. I think pretty much just pizza and salads, but uh, it's pretty darn good. And again, outdoor seating here as well. Covered if in case it's, you know, got some sprinkles, but on a day like today, they even have heaters underneath there. So if it's cooler, you can eat outdoors and be, be pretty warm. I wanna show you this big building right across the little road here as well. Cause this is all a big medical facility. This is all part of multi-care, but there's an urgent care in there. Um, a pediatric urgent care with Mary Bridge, and then um, all sorts of just professional doctor's offices. So 
Uh, in fact, my doctor used to be in there until I switched doctors. I'm not sure even why I did that, but I did anyway. Um, but uh, so medical facilities right here as well. And uh, as you probably know, the hospital is just up the, up the freeway a couple miles. Um, if you need something more urgent or more serious, you can go there. But for your standard checkups and, and whatever kind of nuances you might have going on, there is medical facility right there, Multicare. All right, we're continuing to do a little walk. This is the food central area right here. So pizzeria right behind me, right? We already pointed that one out. And then, um, well, I'm gonna walk backwards. My, when we were doing college tours with my kids, all the tour people, they walked backwards and they just kind of knew they were going like this was their job description. They had to walk backwards. So I know I can do it too. If they can do it, I can do it. Okay, I wanted to point out this little Mexican place called Blue Aguave. It's really, it's just, it's good. There's the outdoor seating again. They tend to leave the doors wide open. So when you're indoors, it's even, it even feels like you're outdoors. Got a cool little bar, great margaritas, of course. And right over there, the Blazing Onion. Uh, all sorts of different kind of gourmet hamburgers, a big sports bar in there as well, but burgers like wild boar burgers and buffalo burgers and, you know, not just your standard beef hamburger. There's a, a meatloaf burger, which is really, really good. So uh, if you want to try a bunch of different weird, I shouldn't say weird because they're really good, but just a, a different variety of hamburgers, Blazing Onion, that's another good one. So we're at the other end of the parking lot now. And uh, as I mentioned before, there's a Safeway right here. And of course, Starbucks are part of like every Safeway there is. Got a bunch of retail on the other side over there. There's Kohl's, which is kind of like a department store. Applebee's right there, different kind of dining. Safeway's got the gas station here. Right on the other side of the gas station, I don't know if we're gonna be able to really see it too well in this video, but there's a Bank of America, which is actually where I bank. So, um, Chipotle, yep, like I said, Uptown's got a little bit of everything. There's a Jersey Mike's. Um, and I'm gonna walk over to the intersection here and kind of show you the road coming in. Here I am walking backwards again, and uh, the store behind me I wanted to point out is Michael's. And I know a lot of you out there are really big into, oh man, look at that, I almost got it by a car. Um, really big into crafts and, and things like that. And Michael's is just a great store for that. And it's also great for, you know, like science projects and, and things like, or craft projects for kids in school. I remember uh, we bring the kids here a lot when they were little doing projects for school and get the, whatever you need, um, glue sticks and um, backing paper and just, you know, all the craft stuff. Um, Michael's is, got, is, is a great supply for that. And uh, the store is right there. So. I know there's Amazon and I shop on Amazon a lot too, but it's nice to go into a store and actually see things, feel them, touch them, make sure that's what you want. And Michael's is a good stop, uh, spot that you can do that. Okay, uh, this is a negative uh, to what we were just looking at. And I wanted to bring you to this intersection. This is the intersection of Olympic and Point Fosdick. And in my opinion, and I have no factual evidence whatsoever, but in my opinion, this is one of the busiest intersections in Gig Harbor. Uh, and there's just a lot of cars coming through here all the time. So I'm kind of going to do a little pan around here. So it's shopping uh, right up now, kind of coming up behind me. That's where people get off the freeway, Highway 16. This is the route people would go if you live out in Artendale or if you live out in Fox Island. So it just gets a lot of traffic. I mean, look at this behind me, this turn lane. You know, it's just a turn lane and it, granted it's Friday afternoon, it's about three o'clock or so. So, you know, I mean, people are getting off school and, and getting off work. And so it's a busy time of day for sure. But just be prepared when you're coming in and out of Uptown, you're gonna deal with this intersection and it is not my favorite. Just walking back towards where my car is actually in the Uptown Shopping Center from that intersection. Just wanna note across the street, is a whole bunch of other stuff. There's actually a gourmet grocery store over there called Metropolitan Market. It's relatively new, upscale grocery store. It's a little more expensive, of course, because you know I think everything tends to be organic and stuff like that. There's a Chase Bank, there's a Moctezuma's Mexican restaurant, Subway, all sorts of stuff. Um, I know you can't see it really well, and I'm not gonna try to dash across that traffic to show it to you, but it's, a, it's another kind of big strip mall area. It doesn't look quite as attractive as uptown across the street here, but it's got some great stuff over there too. 
Just a side note, the last few weeks up here have been the best spring in a long time. I mean, I am in, I'm wearing shorts. It's shorts and t-shirt weather, flip-flops. It's sunny, it's warm. Cars still go by that make a lot of noise, unfortunately. Uh, but man, it's, uh, <laughs> the weather has just been awesome. And uh, it's, it's just a real treat. Summer's coming and it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, folks, here we are back at the beginning. And to walk around this whole complex really only takes about 10 minutes. So it's really easy and convenient. If, uh, if you wanna check out a numerous different places, grab a couple different drinks at a couple different drinking establishments. Um, you have some variety with eating choices, the whole nine yards. So uh, again, my name is Darren Rivers. I am the Northwest Realtor. This was Living in Gig Harbor, Washington. Hey, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you on the next one.